Only the United States and China are known to operate autonomous space planes. On Sunday, India demonstrated the successful landing of its own space plane, a kind of reusable space vehicle. This is an unmanned aerospace vehicle that operates autonomously. Our correspondent Siddharth MP sent us this report explaining the space plane technology and also its capabilities. It's got wings. Looks like a mini airplane, but there's no passenger or pilot. In fact, it weighs just as much as an SUV or two. It's fully autonomous in the Earth's atmosphere. It glides like an aircraft, and in space it can maneuver like a spacecraft. That's what makes space planes unique. They are reusable aerospace vehicles. At present, the U.S. is known to operate fully autonomous space planes. Known as the Boeing X-37B, the U.S. space plane has flown several missions and spent more than 900 days in space in a single trip. Reports indicate that China, too, has similar operational space planes, but details are very scarce. Space planes don't reach space on their own. They ride piggyback on rockets to get there. Once they reach space and are separated from the rocket, they continue to orbit the Earth on their own and carry out tasks. Once the tasks are completed, they deorbit and re-enter the Earth's atmosphere. Eventually, they come back and land on a runway. Reports say space planes are used to carry out science experiments and research in space. It could be the study of new materials, seeds, radio waves, solar energy and such. But no country reveals the specifics of what these mysterious planes do up there in the vastness of space. India's RLVTD space plane idea was born more than two decades ago. Over the last decade, the plane was being developed and built. The Indian space plane weighs 1.6 tons, measures 6.5 meters in length and 3.6 meters in breadth. In 2016, the plane was flown to the upper atmosphere on a rocket and then allowed to glide back and land at sea. This tested the plane's structure, crucial systems and ability to withstand up to five times the speed of sound, or Mach 5. Mach 5 is regarded as the start of the hypersonic speed. The latest test conducted on Sunday shows further maturity of the space plane's autonomous landing capability. The space plane RLVTD was carried by an Indian Air Force chopper to a height of 4.5 kilometers. Then the plane was dropped. In a matter of minutes, the plane weighing 1.6 tons glided back onto the runway, fully autonomously. At the time of landing, the plane came in at a speed of 360 kilometers per hour and then gradually reduced speed with a brake parachute. Few more landing experiments will be continuing with the different initial conditions to prove the, uh, the ruggedness of the algorithm and the hardware that we have put in. So this is a great opportunity given to us to develop our orbital landing experiment, ORV, which is already in progressing. And I'm looking towards that only as the final goal. So these are steps closer to making us closer to the objective of having India's own reusable rocket or reusable landing craft for very specific mission goals. India's reusable space plane known as RLVTD has completed two very crucial tests. What remains is an all-important third test known as the orbital landing experiment. ISRO officials tell Vyond that for the orbital landing experiment, they're working on a prototype vehicle which is 1.6 times larger than the current RLV vehicle. They're also saying that they are modifying a GSLV rocket to carry this particular space plane to space. Once the space plane reaches space, it will have to orbit the Earth and then deorbit itself and re-enter the Earth's atmosphere at very high temperatures, close to 2000 degrees. And then it will have to come back in and glide onto a runway and land like an aeroplane. And all of this will happen autonomously. When that third crucial test is completed, India will also be part of the countries that have an orbital class autonomous reusable space vehicle. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vyond, World is One.